President Vladimir Putin on Monday placed flowers at a monument honoring the leaders of a 1612 uprising as the country marked Unity Day. The day commemorates the 1612 expulsion of Polish-Lithuanian forces that occupied Moscow in an uprising that was led by national heroes Prince Dmitry Pozharsky and Kuzma Minin. Russia has been celebrating the holiday since 2005, when it replaced the Soviet-era commemoration on that date of the Bolshevik Revolution. Representatives of religious denominations, public and youth organizations also participated in Monday's ceremony on Moscow's Red Square. After the ceremony, Putin and Russia's Patriarch Kirill visited an exhibition dedicated to the traditions of volunteerism and mutual assistance in Russia. короткий ролик о социальной помощи церкви. Помощь церкви — это более тысячи лет служения, и это не только история. Сейчас церковь тоже один из крупнейших. Мы не можем столько людей, вот вы, слава Богу, здоровые, сильные, и дай Бог вам такими же оставаться. Но рано или поздно вы все равно в жизни, которая сложна, сможете это сделать, то Господь вас не оставит, потому что Бог... Хотелось бы сразу отметить о том, что стремление помогать и история всей взаимопомощи, она в 2014 года именно вы инициировали создание Ассоциации волонтерских центров. Как нас вы все увидите, как на протяжении 10 лет мы уже в современном состоянии так и помогаем. A Jamestown Foundation compiled a table of data on 12 key plants in the Russian missile industry. According to Analyze, U.S. Tomahawk missiles are enough to destroy these 12 Russian long-range weapon factories. Recall Ukraine has requested Tomahawk missiles from the United States as part of a non-nuclear deterrence package as systems with a firing range several times greater than the ATACMS operational tactical complexes. This was reported by the New York Times. At the same time, a high-ranking U.S. official called the fulfillment of this request completely unrealistic. In any case, Defense Express admits that the discussion was about land-based tomahawks, which are used in the U.S. Army for medium-range Typhon complexes. On the one hand, the U.S. Army itself has only two Typhon batteries with four launchers each. On the other hand, the Typhon launcher itself for Tomahawk is based on an improvised solution, a universal Mark 41 launch cell standard for U.S. Navy surface ships was installed on a land platform. It is noted that the Raduga Design Bureau is the plant where the final assembly of the KH-101 cruise missiles take place. The NPO Machino Stroenia Design Bureau produces P-800 and Zircon missiles. The Votkinsk plant produces 9M723 ballistic missiles up to the Iskander missile launch system and in Soviet times, missiles from the Tochka-U missile launch systems were manufactured there. The NPK KB Machino Stroenia also produces ballistic missiles for the Iskander complexes. Ukrainian analysts believe that a strike drone will clearly not be enough to destroy such long-range plants. Powerful and long-range arguments are required 
for such a task and the tomahawk is perfect for this. Jamestown Foundation analysts advise Ukraine to develop its own liquid-fueled medium-range ballistic missile as if such a weapon could be developed in a few months, although in reality it would take at least several years and only under favorable circumstances. Recall Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed Ukraine's request for Tomahawk missiles, but stressed that it was confidential information between Ukraine and the White House. The head of state said this in an interview with representatives of leading media in northern European countries, commenting on the information of the New York Times publication that Zelensky asked for Tomahawk missiles as a secret part of the victory plan. When many countries started to support the victory plan, you see what is happening in the media now. They said that Ukraine wants or wanted to get a lot of missiles, like Tomahawk, he said. At the same time, Zelensky emphasized that this was confidential information between Ukraine and the White House and expressed outrage that this information was leaked into the information space. How should we understand these messages? So, this means that there is nothing confidential between the partners. Zelensky added 